sorry I'm out today, but at least you can hear my voice. Um, I have a doctor's appointment. So today, Mrs. Dowd will be helping you with um, lesson 14, least common multiple. And in class today, um, you're going to be finding out that the least common multiple of two non-zero numbers, A and B, written LCM of A and B, is the least whole number larger than zero, which is a multiple of both A and B. Wow, that is a mouthful. <laughs> so let me show you an example, and then I think that you will understand a lot better. When you're finding um, the least common multiple, there are two ways you can do it. The list method and the ladder method. This is how I feel about the list method. This is how I feel about the ladder method. But I will show you both ways just so you can see how they work in action. Multiple is a number um, multiplied. Multiplied by 1, by 2, by 3, on and on and on. So if you're finding the least common multiple of 12 and 18, you have to multiply 12 out. 12 times 1 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Then you take 18 and you multiply it out. 18 times 1 is 18, 18 times 2 is 36. They have a match. Okay, so the LCM or the least common multiple of these two numbers is 36, okay? However, you can also do the same thing. You can find the least common multiple by using the ladder method. Take 12 and 18 in the ladder method. They have a greatest common factor of 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 18 divided by 6 is 3. When we found the GCF, we just circled the stuff on the side. Well, LCM, where the F was, LCM is a lot similar, except instead of circling the stuff on the side with the F, you circle the stuff on the side like an L. Okay, this looks like an L, and you put time sign in between it. 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 3 is 36. So the LCM of 12 and 18 is 36. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, let's use solely the ladder method, okay? The least common multiple of 14 and 21. I know that 14 and 21 are both divisible by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 21 divided by 7 is 3. Circle the L, okay, to find the LCM. Circle the L, put time sign in between them. 7 times 2 is 14. And 14 times 3 is 42. Okay, so the LCM of these two numbers is 42. Okay, and this is what I'd like you to do right now. I want you to use these two methods, or these two examples, to help you find the LCM exploratory challenge of these four problems. And then there's two LCM word problems that I would like you to try. And you can begin.